So let's make a quick recap on complex numbers. So Z is usually the, the arbitrary complex number and Z has a real part which is denoted by X and then has iota to say that there is a complex component or excuse me, an imaginary component and then Y is the actual imaginary component. So in the language of the characteristic equation, we refer to alpha as being the real component and beta as the imaginary component. So we say that when we solve our characteristic equation for lambda, remember it's going to be a plus and a minus, then we're going to get alpha as the real component of the complex number lambda, and we're going to have beta as the imaginary component of the complex number lambda. And when we take these solutions in a particular linear combination, we're going to get the solution y of x, the general solution for y of x, which is exactly what we're trying to find. And as I said earlier, we're going to have two solutions for lambda because of the plus and minus here. And the nomenclature I'm going to use is lambda sub plus and lambda sub minus. So the point here is that if b squared minus 4c is less than 0, well that's a negative number, and in order to take the square root of a negative number, you're going to get a complex number. So there's going to be an imaginary component. And that's why we have our solutions lambda plus and lambda minus here. However, of course, if b squared minus 4c is equal to or greater than 0, then the imaginary component beta is going to go to 0. And we're simply going to be left with the real component lambda, or excuse me, alpha. Just before we go on, there's something I'd like to point out that the only difference between lambda plus and lambda minus is the sign on the imaginary component. In other words, that the real component alpha is the same in both. And in reality, when we have b squared minus 4c less than 0, and we have complex solutions, we're only interested in plus alpha and plus beta. In fact, we're only interested in the lambda plus solution. And I'll tell you why that is the case in a moment. So at the top of your screen here is the solution to our second order linear order differential equation with constant coefficients when b squared minus 4c is less than 0 and we have imaginary roots. I'd like to point something out. We actually have two elements to the solution. We have e to the alpha x and then a cos beta x plus b sine beta x. Notice by the way this is a b, a capital B rather than beta here. So the left side of, equa of the equation is in alpha and the right side is in beta. So the solution is simple. Having solved the characteristic equation, we get alpha and we have e to the alpha x. Simple, and that stays there. Then we get two additional constants, a, capital A and capital B. These are to allow us to take a linear combination of cos beta x and sine beta x. Notice in both occasions that it's plus beta. In other words, we're really taking just the lambda plus solution. And you might be asking, well, why is that the case? Why can't we take the lambda minus solution? And the short answer is you can, but it won't give you any new information. Because when you start plugging in minus beta, you'll find, well, cosine of a negative number is the same as the cosine of the positive number. So this element won't change. And simply you're going to get a new sign here when you, uh, when you because minus the sign of a positive number is equal to the sign of the negative number, you'll find that this change in sign can be simply incorporated in the constant. So you'll find, in fact, that if you did put in the lambda minus solution, you'd get no new information. It would look different, but the information would be the same. So, simple. e to the alpha x, and then we take a cos beta x plus b sine beta x. And that's the general solution when we have complex roots or b squared minus 4c is less than 0. So that's the general solution, and for the sake of argument, our two particular solutions are here. And then to take our linear combination, well, we multiply each by a constant, a and b in this case, and we add them. 